Diversity is a really interesting thing when it comes to governing bodies, especially in the higher education sector. I think often boards want to recruit a lot of experienced individuals, people who've been in the sector for a long time, but maybe that's not the best way to go about things. It's always a challenge and I don't think I've ever sat on a board where I feel the full range of diversity has been delivered. Members serve for very long periods of time. You'll have people serving eight, nine, ten years, so you don't have a lot of vacancies coming up on a regular basis. Um, so what's really important is for boards to take that issue seriously and plan. The starting point is to be clear what kinds of diversity you need and there's lots of different kinds, not just the obvious visible ones. When boards are recruiting, I think it's important to look at where they recruit from, because if there's not a lot of diversity in the workplace, they're not going to be recruiting that kind of diversity that they want or need in their governing bodies. I think there's a tendency too often for predominantly private sector people uh, to populate boards. I think you, you need people from the public sector, you need people from the third sector, um, and you need people with that broader reach into the community. We often look to alumni who feel they want to give something back, but if we're going to achieve real diversity, we've probably got to look way beyond that. And in doing so, we must make sure that we pay expenses well, that we look after people, we give them opportunities of being part of an institution which is a reward in itself because we aren't paying people despite their giving us a considerable amount of time. You need to look at where you advertise, how uh, you advertise and really go out of your way, not just to take people who come forward, but in some cases to wait until you've got the right candidates. It's been about really engaging with the widest possible audience for people who may be interested in becoming governors. And we've done that by, by publicly putting out what our plans are and what our ambition is and what our mission is and explaining to people that you know this isn't just about running a university, this is a major change programme because we're trying to take the university into a into a different place and that's really got people excited and it's and it's got people excited um, who may not have otherwise uh, wanted to or thought about being a governor. The Committee of University Chairs Guide is very very helpful in advising nominations committees how to go about recruiting more diverse membership but also that the headhunting firms can be incredibly helpful in reaching parts that universities themselves are unable to reach through traditional means. We'll present the, the challenge to the headhunter uh, to find somebody from a particular background with a particular area of expertise uh, and ensuring that they, they do provide us across the council uh, with the appropriate uh, representation from each of those sectors. It's important to have a broad spectrum of voices in the room, so yes, we definitely need the more experienced person who's had years in a sector, but maybe we could look at having newer voices in the room and younger voices in the room, uh, and just sort of pushing that innovation and new ideas within the boardroom.